Welcome back to Team O'Malley Talk. Remember, this is your source for the latest news on Team O'Malley, the national team of Iran. Now, we know why we're here. Let's just face it, the alarm bells have rung. Iran is in a lot of trouble after a 2-1 loss to Iraq in Amman. A terrible result. And I'm not about to bring out some kind of explanation about how Iran could get to the final round. We know what Iran needs to do. But for today's agenda, we're going to be talking about the three reasons why Mark Wilmots failed against Iraq. So if you like what we will talk about, then hit that like button. Reason number one, the starting lineup. Right from the get-go, a lot of Tiameli fans were not happy with the starting lineup, but for me, I just got to single out one player, and that's Masoud Shojai. I mean, at 35 years old, you know, what purpose does he serve with Tiameli? And, you know, he's a, he's a liability on the field, giving the ball away, not connecting passes. I mean, we saw him make mistakes against Morocco at the 2018 World Cup, and he didn't play in the games against Spain or Portugal. I mean, in my opinion, that really says a lot about how his uh, productivity has declined on the pitch. And, you know, with Masu Shujai being, a, being, a, being an attacking midfielder, he has to be that player that, you know, gets those passes from the defenders and defensive midfielders and, you know, make those connections with the wingers and strikers. And, you know, we have not seen that from him lately, and it's, it's a really big problem. And next reason, substitutions. I mean, this was a situation where I felt that, you know, I was giving Mark Wilmots a little bit of slack because I felt that the starting lineup, I wasn't too happy with it. But I, you know, told myself, hey, you know what, just relax. There will probably be some good substitutions in the second half with plenty of depth on the bench. And once again, we saw Mark Wilmots not use that depth correctly. I mean, brought on Vahid Amiri for Mehdi Tarami. I mean, why not Ali Gulizadeh? I mean, Ali Golizade has been playing well for Charleroi in Belgium. He's been in good form. He's a good left-footed winger with good speed and great dribbling skills. I mean, why did he not bring him on? I mean, maybe you know. Leave a comment down below. And as for the other substitutions, well, before getting to the another one that made no sense, is that, well, left-back Milana Mohamedi got injured. So he had to be subbed off, and he was replaced by Mohamed Naderi. You know, we're not going to go out of our way to, you know, nitpick and, you know, go after Wilmot's there. But we did finally see Kave Rezaï come on. You know, another player has been playing well for Charleroi in Belgium. But he came on in the 90th minute for Sardar Azmoun. I mean, waiting all the way to the 90th minute, why? What was the point of that? I mean, I mentioned the depth that Wilmot's had, and he, just, and he just seemed like it wasn't important. I mean, he's from Belgium. He used to play for the national team of Belgium. And what was it that he did not want to bring on um, you know, Golizade, or, you know, give more minutes to Kave Rezaï, two players playing for Charleroi in Belgium. Just makes no sense to me whatsoever. And what is it that's Vahid, what, what is it that Vahid Amiri has done so far this season that is so special? I mean, that right there says a lot. And if you want to add insult to injury, remember, Masu Shojai picked up a yellow card in the 49th minute. It was right there at that moment where he should have been subbed off. But instead, he stayed on, eventually got his second yellow card, in the 82nd minute, and Iran was reduced to 10 men. I mean, just absolutely ridiculous. I have no idea what's going through the mind of Mark Wilmots. Reason number three, we're talking strategy. Well, actually, I gotta, I gotta slow down a bit. Can I actually talk strategy about this? Because when I look back at that game between Iran and Iraq, there pretty much was no strategy. I mean, it was basically just play the long ball and hope that something good happens. And in the second half, you basically saw no kind of offense or any kind of, you know, good strategy or tactics being used by Team Ali in the second half. I mean, it was just, it's almost like the offense, basically the offense did not exist, and it, it became very frustrating to watch, and that's the honest truth. Okay, and having said everything I wanted to say about the three reasons why Mark Wilmots failed Iran, both well, because of these three reasons, it's made me realize that Mark Wilmots needs to be fired. He has no business being head coach of Iran. He has clearly shown that he is incompetent and is not good enough to do this job. I mean, look where Iran has gone. I mean, just go back to the 2018 World Cup, a win against Morocco, a close 1-0 loss to Spain, a 1-1 tie against Portugal when they came so close to going to the second round, and now this, losing to teams like Bahrain and Iraq. Just absolutely terrible. Bottom line, Wilmots has got to go. 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 Well, that's it for Team Melly Talk. As always, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. But most importantly, make sure you leave a comment because I'm always looking forward to getting your input.